If you use uh, Bitmain and miners and uh, you're looking to uh, monitor them and you can't find any tool, I, I know one there's out, it's called Hive OS. Um, let's test it out and see the performance it gives and what kind of results. Hey, hey, hey guys. Yeah, welcome back to Mining Hardware Channel. Um, what are we gonna do? Uh, yeah, uh, monitoring the ASIC miners. Um, yeah, sounds like, uh, uh, or looks like uh, high voice. I wanna create some kind of ultimate mining solutions and I uh, wanna do um, uh, soft the mining monitoring for all kind of miners, GPUs and and ASICs, probably FPGAs also will be coming soon. Uh, but yeah, anyways, we are reviewing the uh, um, ASIC mining uh, monitoring for the Hive OS. Um, to connect to Hive OS, uh, your AMP miner, it's quite easy. Yeah, currently also it does support only Bitmain uh, AMP miners. It doesn't support any other um, ASICs, but they are uh, planning to implement this in future. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it does support the A3, a D3, a L3+, L3++, a T9+, S9, and S9i miners uh, for monitoring. So uh, connect to miner is quite simple also. Uh, as usual, um, you just need to log in through SSH in your miner and then uh, uh, just put in a command line to connect your miner to a uh, uh, Hive OS server and you will see it on your uh, website office let's call it that um, so yeah first of all create an account it's hive os if you don't have one yet and then connect the miners and create new miner so i, I will go through uh, all of this stuff uh, in uh, five minutes and uh, we will see uh, uh, what does it show so first of all you need to log into the miner I, I will assume you know the miner IP, of course you do, do, do know if you're mining. So you need a putty. This is uh, like a tool which allows to log into your miner through SSH. Um, so just type in the miner IP. I think it was 167. Uh, uh, one six seven. Oh, I written it, written it wrong. <laughs> it's one six eight. Yeah. One nine two point one six eight point one point sixty seven. Okay, and the password is the same as you log log into the miner through the IP uh, web GUI. Um, so it is uh, root, the username is root, sorry, and the password for SSH is admin, so A-D-M-I-N, and this will open you a uh, uh, command prompt where you will uh, put this command in. So I will have the links down in the description. Um, you will see this on the GitHub page, they have, there is an explanation on how to set up uh, miner, so I have the... Uh, for this testing purpose, I have the S9 testing now and uh, we'll connect the S9 to uh, Hive OS. So, uh, installation, it says here how to install. You just simply copy the, uh, the installation line and uh, paste this into your uh, uh, miner and then hit enter. And this will connect the miner uh, to Hive OS server and then you just need to point to your uh, account. So it says, yeah, it only takes a, well, maybe one minute, maximum maybe 30 seconds. And it's asking for uh, my uh, rig ID. So I have created also a rig um, in my account, test rig. So just check out rigs. You call it, uh, put an ASIC tag. So it's asking for a rig ID. It is uh, 229. It's asking for this here, ID, yeah. It is 229-585. Enter. And passport is 
Six zeros, yeah. Three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay, and it's connecting to, uh, yeah. Restart miner. Yeah, like a login is okay. Everything so, says okay. Login is a happy mining. So this miner now is, is active, should be active. Yeah, you can see it's online. So what you need to do also, you need to create an, uh, uh, you need to choose the ASIC miner for this and also the uh, wallet. You need to create an, uh, a miner wallet. You use ASIC miners. So you just go to the wallets, you create new miner and uh, you just uh, choose an ASIC miner and then you place in your uh, your uh, wallet uh, like the name of the miner and if you want to override to mine in different pools you just put your uh, wallet info in there or worker name um, i will show you now every every pool is probably a different setup but most of the cases uh, but anyways it has a hints uh, for every every window so you can set it up you can see uh, test miner um, uh, wallet info tuning yeah you can tune it tune it here um, it has it has the ASIC miner you know you, you just click on the hint and you will see the explanation you know uh, for correct template string please read uh, your pool uh, help section uh, they have the details how to format it so every pool has a different but most of the cases uh, will be like this you know the d wall goes first and then your worker names um anyway then you have put the pool url if you want to you know you can also do this um uh, into your miner gui uh, where you put the details in for miners and uh, put the connect them to the mining pools but you can also do this here and it will automatically you know i'll read this file it will cancel the file which is on the web gui it will will I'll read the file uh, main. This will be the main uh, configuration file for your miner. Um, they have a feature, you know, where to uh, tune the frequencies and the fan speed, but I couldn't get this uh, working. I'm not sure. Uh, it, maybe it's not working on S9, maybe working on some other miner, miners, or I might be uh, uh, written this something wrong, but it does, it does say it has a, a samples here. Uh, what to put put inside, um, but it, 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 it just couldn't. It just didn't uh, do anything um, when I put these details inside. Um, anyway, let's see. Yeah, we can see that the the miner is hashing already. Um, it does show you the fan speed. You know, it's spinning at 5,000 RPM, 84% fan speed and you can see the hash rate you know uh for every board you know 466 uh, terahash 467 468 14 terahash total um, then you can see the version of the miner you can see also the uh, ip address of the miner um, you can see if all the chips are working and how 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 big is the overclock and uh yeah this this what what you will see you know um you this is like a monitoring tool you could also reboot your miner you know you don't you need to set up some kind of remote control if you're like other part in the world and uh your mining rig is in ireland and you're yourself in usa you can reboot the miner you know just open your uh, high voice account you know if the miner is crashed or something or you want to just uh, shut it down. It just shut down the miner. You know, maybe it's overheating or something. Um, so yeah, this this is what HiveOS does, um, and, and I think it's I think it's good enough. Uh, there's plenty of stats so what you can see and uh, what you can do. Um, yeah, I want to see one more thing. You know, the to overclocking tool uh, to put in some kind of easy overclocking tool that you can tune your miners, uh, like put put more overclock and. Uh, also increase the fan speed and uh, put down the fan speed. Um, if you can use like the same one as uh, on a GPU monitoring tool, it will be very nice. Uh, we will see if they will, uh, probably if there will be a demand for this product, um, it will be implemented. That's what they always do, you know, if there is some kind of demand for some kind of miner, they always implement uh, very fast. 
Um, so yeah. Um, again, you were watching a mining hardware channel. Um, also, we have a, uh, just recently created a, a Discord Discord channel. It's not very active at the moment. We are uh, getting on few uh, professionals there, um, uh, so uh, who will update us with the uh, newest uh, mining hardware releases and also uh, uh, do some kind of troubleshooting and just a general chat about cryptocurrency, but, but mostly about mining hardware. So the links for the Discord chat is down in the description. Uh, come and join us and uh, we will grow the channel. Yeah, and you are watching Mining Hardware Channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hit the like button if you haven't done that yet. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel as usual. And I see you on the next video, guys. Bye.